Okay, a bit of a snow day today, so let's have a look at some national five percentages. Refresh our brains on appreciation and depreciation and on reverse percentages. I'll just do a couple of examples of each and see if you can follow along. So let's start off with appreciation or depreciation with a quick example. Example one, there are 964 pupils on the go at Aberleven High School. It is forecast the goal will decrease by 15% per year. What is the expected goal after three years? And with the rounder answer to the nearest 10. With a question like this, if you notice a time and a percent, it is probably going to be this method, appreciation or depreciation. And the method's always the same. Start off by finding something called a multiplier. So a multiplier, very simply, is we start off with 100%. And it's decreasing by 15%, so I take away 15%. 100 minus 15 is 85. And we turn that into a decimal. So 85% as a decimal, 85 over 100. Use a calculator if we need to, but 0 0.85 is what we get. Now the question is pretty simple. We take our number 964. We times by our multiplier to the power of the time, the number of years, three. Now, we cannot do that in our head, so let's grab a calculator and see what we get. Here we are, so we've got 964 times 0 0.85. You're looking for your power button on my calculator as an x, y, and three. And we get an answer, press equals just to make sure. 592.0165. So let's just copy that. 592.0165. And then just check to the nearest 10. Well, that equals 590. Nearest 10. Let's look at another example. Example 2 says bacteria in a test tube increase at the rate of 0.6% per hour. At noon, there's 5,000. At 3 p.m., how much will be present? And we'll have to give our answers to three significant figures. Okay, we need a time. Let's start with the time. Nice and simple. 12 till 3, that's 3 hours. Let's just take a wee note of that. And then we start our question. Same way as the last one. Find our multiplier. So, 100% plus 0.6%. Get a calculator if we need to. 100.6%. We need that as a decimal. So let's do that. 100.6% is 100.6 divided by 100. And... Well, let's be careful and get our calculator, just in case we make a mistake. Even I'll do it. 100.6 divided by 100. Ah, 1.006. Now the question is pretty simple. We just do the same as last time. We take our 5,000 in the question. We times by our multiplier to the power of the time, which again in this case was 3. Three hours. Get our calculator back. 5,000 times 1.006 to the power of 3. And there we are. 54108. 54108. So to three significant figures we wanted it. So that just means 509. Round it at this point. So that is 5090. To three significant figures. Okay, reverse percentages. So at National 5. In the calculator paper, there's generally two types of percentages question. The one we just did, where there was a time frame and we had to times by the multiplier to a certain power. The other ones is where there's no time given at all in the question and you're working backwards to find the answer. Let's see it with an example. A car is valued at 
3,780, and this is 16% less than last year's value. Let, what is the value of the car last year? Start off in the same way, guys. Multiplier. 100%. 16% less than. Went down. Minus 16%. That gives me a grand total of 84%. So, if we turn that to a decimal, we get 0 0.84, just dividing it by 100. So, to find out the answer to the problem, we take 3780. Now, if we were find out a new value, what, what it's going to be, we would times. The opposite of times is divide. So, we divide by the multiplier. Here's a little tip for you. If there's no time in the question, you're doing a calculator paper, most of the time you'll have to divide. If it's time, you times. No time, divide. Thirty-seven eighty divided by zero point eight four. Oh, four thousand five hundred. Nice round number. Put a pound sign in it. Done. Next example. James paid. £297.50 for a laptop. The discount in the sale was 15%. Calculate the original price of the laptop. Start it in the same way. Multiplier. So we've got 100%. Discount in sales. A sale that's went down. Minus 15%. Is 85%. Not always taken away. If it had went up in price, we would have added. But it's went down, so we're taking away. 85% as a decimal is 0 0.85, 85 divided by 100. So we just take our money, 29750, divide by 0 0.85 to get back to the original price. Calculator is our friend here, 297.50 divided by 0 0.85, 350. Another nice round number. £350. Okay, have a great snow day. I hope you're having a nice time and you're staying safe. That's a little review and recap on percentages used at National 5, especially in the calculator paper. Take care, stay safe and good